As a BDR or an account executive, the structure of your day is absolutely important. On today's episode, we're not going to go into every single thing you need to do, but we're going to give you three key things that you need to understand when it comes to structuring your day to find success. You're going to love this one. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald C. Kelly. The Sales Evangelist, and I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And on this episode, we have a phenomenal guest. His name is Will Padilla, and Will is uh, someone that's tearing it up in the software sales world right now in the tech tech scene. And uh, he was in a, a phenomenal a BDR. Now he's in an AE role where he's doing even more uh, amazing things. He also has a TikTok following where he shares a lot of tips and advice. And uh, this is one of the reasons I brought him on because he experienced the stuff from his TikTok experience, as, I mean, from his BDR day, but also living it as an AE right now. And he shares a lot of great insights that can help you. So if you're a seller, go ahead and follow him on TikTok. You can find him on LinkedIn as well. Today, we're going to break down and Will has three things that he feels that you need to know and master to be able to structure your day to find amazing success. As we dive in, you get a chance to learn a little bit more about Will and then hear his ideas. Check it out. Let's go into this uh, and dive down. There are three main things that I have here that we talked about before. Um, when it comes, these, these three things. One was planning and prepping your day, and we're gonna go into that a little bit. Then niching your in your block in your time block. So niche out those time blocks in details, and then working with your AE. Um, those are the three key things, and that's gonna help us to structure our day. So, but I want to go in more depth. So, talk to me a little bit more about the planning and prep um, daily, weekly. Um, you, you you mentioned this idea about when we were chatting, like you need to know what you're aiming for. Can you talk to me about this for a minute? Yeah. So just to kind of give a little background again for everyone listening, I was not always a consistent BDR. I missed, uh, I hit the first three months. I call it beginner's luck. And then I missed yeah. for four months in a row. <laughs> so for, Dang, for, for, I missed for four months in a row. So from month three or month four to eight to seven, um, I missed, I'd missed by two or missed by one. And I was like, what am I doing wrong? And I started to look at, well, I go into every day, literally winging it and that and it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. frustrating, man. And so I had to have a, I guess you could call it like a realization, look in the mirror and say, I haven't winged it most of my life. Why am I thinking that being a BDR is no different? So yeah. at that, I guess you can call it seven month mark, I said no more. And I basically figured out, I have all these metrics from my biz dev leader of, you have to hit a hundred cold calls a week. You have to send 30 videos that are personalized. You have to send 400 e personalized emails. Uh, you have to do all these LinkedIn connects. And previously I would just, maybe I would do two videos here, maybe I'd, watch TikTok for an hour. I'm just being transparent. Like, <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> but, but, you, but here's the thing, though. You're being transparent, but it's, like, so true with other people. Like, others are watching this and be like, dang, I'm on TikTok right now. Let me shut up and listen to these guys. <laughs> so, and so yeah, for, for everyone listening, I'm being... I'm beating myself up and being transparent. That was the old me. Yeah. And so, basically, what I realized that I was too distracted. I was too all over the place. And then... I'd maybe hit my metrics by scramble to do it on a Friday afternoon when no one was, it was, that's the wrong time to do all that stuff anyway. Yeah. It's too late in the week. So at that seven month mark, I said, I'm going to structure my day and do those metrics first thing in the morning and then leave the rest of the afternoon for prospecting. So I never was missing quota. I never missed goal. I was a top performing BDR in the company from my uh, structure. It's, I wouldn't say I'm, more talented than the next person it's just that i'm very structured now i was like you where i'd have structures of this hour i'm just doing sales navigator yeah this hour i'm just looking up uh google reviews on companies in the industry i'm trying to target like it was very like as you said you can't go from google reviews to linkedin to instagram to TikTok to prospect and yeah. it's like it's just too much yeah i mean if you think about it like a computer 
like you and I, like if you have, that's why even when we tell people we're doing podcast interviews like this, you know, close out of your windows, because if your computer is like trying to think about all these different things, you're going back and forth, you're switching back between LinkedIn and your emails and, you know, Riverside, and it's not going to process as fast as it should. I mean, no. some computers may be, but it's the same concept where your, your freaking, your brain is a, is a computer as well as a freaking brain. So um, think about it in that same vein. If I'm focusing, if I'm thinking about and focusing on a finance role, I'm reaching out to CFOs right now. I'm really hyper focused on everything that CFOs are doing, and that makes it easier for me to have conversation rather than trying to talk to the, you know, the marketing directors right now. It's like, yeah, it's keep your brain focused on one thing. Let's let's take it home though. The last piece here, you mentioned that the the, the third uh, prong. You know, we've talked so much about planning and prepping your day, weekly planning. Talked about niche in the uh, those block times. But now it's like, you know, working with your AE, uh, making their life mm. easier. This was a third leg um, of our structuring your day. Talk to me about that. How has this been helpful for you and why is it so important when it comes to um, being successful with your daily structure? Yeah. So just to keep it candid, right, your your AE is your teammate. You're, you're the Batman and Robin of, <laughs> uh, of, the sales, of the sales game. And sometimes it helps to be really good friends with your AE because, hey, Maybe you're one away from a promotion and maybe the demo is mm -hmm. not all the way qualified, but you and your AE have a great working relationship where they're going to help you out. It's constant across the industry of kind of you have a good relationship. It works both ways because the AE knows at least a selfless, a humble <laughs> AE knows a lot of our success comes from their success. So yeah. when they're hustling, they're hitting the demos every single month and we're getting qualified demos, we're closing deals. It's a team, it's a team event. One cannot function without the other. Um, yeah. And so it's important to share that. And also just, I leaned on my account executive so heavily for, um, hey, um, his name was Eric. Hey, Eric, um, any advice like this prospect just told me that they heard our software is too expensive from a friend and they have all these questions uh do you mind if i loop you into the email so you can respond he he preferred that he'd say will please anything like this any technical questions cc me i got you and we won a lot of deals just by tagging my ae in i love this man um i'm gonna link back in the show notes here um, with your uh, your your TikTok um, and uh, some of the things that you're doing, uh, so folks can take advantage of that and connect with you. But talk to me about that a little bit more. You mentioned it a little bit earlier. Yes. But you're are you dropping a lot of tips, a lot of advice, ideas, or you know humor? What's some of the things you're sharing on TikTok there? Yes. Thanks for allowing me to share this. Uh, my TikTok is yeah, at sell that sass. So S A A S. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on TikTok. You can give me a follow. Um, it's a lot of it is tips on how to be a top performing PDR, tips on how to be a top performing AE, um, customer stories I have, uh, maybe some uh, crazy things prospects say to me. <laughs> so it's all out there um, and I just have fun with it. You know, it's uh, TikTok is, there's no hiding. They understand my voice, they know my tonality, they know what I look like. It's, it's all out there. So I think that's why a lot of people like TikTok opposed to maybe Instagram pictures where you can, really only know so much about someone and same with LinkedIn posts. It's like yeah. TikTok really just puts it all out there. That was Will Padilla. And if you haven't done so already, click on the link down in the bio in the excuse me in the show notes, connect with him, tell him that you heard him here on the Sales Evangelist podcast. And uh, also check out our sponsors. I mean, they're offering some amazing offers that can help you out in your sales game and, and help you to, to thrive and to succeed. Listen, I share stuff like this because I want you to succeed. I want you to be, I want you to, to grow. I mean, the one of the concepts that I love that Will shared here was that niching. Like you, we have blocking, we block our time, but are you blocking your time with actual details of what details of what you, and I love the idea he shared as well that we're going to, you know, you can block things internally so people can see what you're doing, but also make it free. So your prospects who use a Calibly link can go ahead and, um, and get access to your stuff uh, and, and not have any worries. But bro, so many great insights today connect with will tell him that you heard him on the sales evangelist podcast and i want you to share this with one other person so they can find success as always i want you to find more of your ideal customers i want you to know what to say when you reach out to them i want you to close more deals but most importantly i want you to raise your level of thinking and go out and do big things thanks so much for watching